I take pleasure and honor to invite His Excellency Dr. Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete, former President of the United Republic of Tanzania. of Zambia, and Her Excellency First Lady Mutinta Hichilema, Mrs. Tandiwe Banda, former First Lady of Zambia, and members of the Banda family, Excellencies Heads of State and Government, former Heads of State and Government, Honorable Ministers, members of the Diplomatic Corps, representatives of international organizations, fellow mourners, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to represent High Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania. She sincerely apologizes for not being able to join Your Excellency and the people of Zambia during the somber and difficult moment of mourning the untimely passing of His Excellency Rupia Wezani Banda, the fourth president of this great country. Today is the 17th of March. It's exactly the day when President Magufuli died and there is commemoration of his first year. She has sent me to convey her deepest condolences to Your Excellency to former First Lady Tandiwe Banda, to the Banda family, and to all the people of Zambia. President Samia Sulu Hassan would like to let you, Excellency, the deceased family and the Zambian people know that the death of former President Rupia Banda is a profound loss not only to the people of Zambia, but, to the, but also to the leadership and the people of, Zam of Tanzania. You are not alone. Tanzania has lost a great friend and a comrade in arms. During his time, a Zambia's diplomat, foreign minister, and later president, he was instrumental in pro promoting and advancing the friendship and bilateral relations between our two brotherly nations. The excellent bilateral, political, diplomatic, and socio-economic relations between Zambia and Tanzania are what they are today, thanks in many ways to the contribution made by His Excellency Rupia Wezani Banda. There is also Rupia Banda's footprint in the liberation of the nations of Southern Africa. In the regional integration agenda under the auspices of, of SADC, at the continental level, he will be remembered for being a staunch believer and promoter of African unity. And at the global level, he will be remembered as a promoter of world peace and a tireless first fighter for a fair and just political and economic order. The death of former President Banda has robbed Madam Tandiwe Banda, a loving husband, and his family, a loving father and grandfather and guardian. No words can really help to ease your pain and sense of loss. President Samia Sulu says she shares your pain and sorrow, and her, her thoughts and prayers are with you. The death of President Rupia Ban has robbed the people of Zambia, one of her greatest sons. He was man, a man of great intellect and wisdom, a leader who undoubtedly was at, 
a great pal patriot. He had great love for his country and ready to put national interest first before his personal interest. You will recall, Your Excellency, I was here during the last elections, leading the Commonwealth Observer, election observers. Seeing the, th the way things were developing, I deemed it important to consult the former president to get his wise counsel, particularly on the prevailing situation and how to navigate our way safely, and most importantly, how to manage the aftermath of the elections. I called him and asked to see him. He readily accepted. Of course, he was an old friend of mine. When he was, when he and I were presidents, we worked closely together. We exchanged visits. And I'm sure Your Excellency will remember when President Banda and I were at Mazabuka attending a chief's gathering. You came there and announced. And it caused a bit of uh, uneasiness because of your popularity. Excellency, when I met President Vanda, I inquired about his health because he had intimated to me earlier on in one of our conversations that he was not well. He told me that he was still fighting and actually he was supposed to go for his other cycle of treatment abroad but he postponed because of the elections. I did not hide my, my un uneasiness and fear about his decision, but he said he wanted to use his democratic right to vote, but more importantly, he wanted to be useful in any possible way after the elections. He admitted to me that things, he, uh, he was worried things may not be as easy or as smooth as it was supposed to be. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, what more evidence do you need for demonstration of patriotism than this? He was risking his life for the sake of his country and his people. Rupia Wazani Banda did that, and I am witness. I also explained to him that besides visiting him as a friend and wanted to consult on the development since the Zambian election process, as we were seeing it, After highly engaging discussions, we agreed to do everything possible within our power to ensure peaceful elections. Me, on my part, as leading the Commonwealth Observer Mission, but him as a former president and as a and Zambian patriot. We agreed to be proactive. Because of his health conditions, he said he cannot, try, he cannot move from his place to engage leaders. But we had a gentleman's agreement that that part of engaging leaders I would be undertaking. Of course, when we talked about leaders, we were talking about the principal candidates. That time, 
Your Excellency as a presidential candidate and President Edgar Lungu, a sitting president, but also a presidential candidate. We believe that if we succeed in engaging you and smoothen matters, Zambia would be assured of a peaceful election during the election and after the elections. He told me, of course, after understanding that he would engage the two, the two leaders that day at his home. But it didn't work out. He called me to inform me about it. We looked at why it didn't work out. But we agreed that we'll not give up. Indeed, that is what we did. That night, I was busy conducting shuttle diplomacy via WhatsApp. talking to now President Hichilema and talking to then President Lungu's team. Late afternoon, the following day, we were able to have the two leaders together at President Banda's home. <laughs> Amazingly, we had a very friendly meeting. It started well, and it ended well, hence the handshake, and the photos that followed thereafter. Let me say, President Lungu and President Hichilema demonstrated the highest levels of statesmanship. I'm sure they were with a lot of pressure from the henchmen. <laughs> no compromise, no compromise. But you know, as a leader, at some point, you have to assume leadership. What is it that is in the best interest of your country? And these two leaders took that responsibility. That is why we have a peaceful, we had a peaceful elections, and we, had, we have a tranquil Zambia after the elections, beyond the expectation of most of, of the people, most of us who are leading that mission, but even among the Zambians themselves, they had a lot of fears that what would come out of the elections. President Chilem, congratulations. President Lungu, congratulations. Please stay the cause. Zambia was able to, to come out of the elections peacefully, beyond expectation. In Kiswahili, there is a saying, usione vinaelea, ujue vimeundwa, translated literally. It means when you see vessels floating, in seas, lakes, and rivers. Please know that somebody has made them. And a bright guy, indeed, because the ship is so, he so heavy, but it does not sink. So you know that somebody has used his brain to come up with that vessel. Similarly, when, in when Zambians enjoy the peaceful and tranquil tranquility, the peace and tranquility after the elections, please be informed in uncertain terms that your own son, in the name of Rupia Bwezani Banda, was central and instrumental to making it happen. 
Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot we can say about this great man. His democratic credentials of conceding defeat and many more, which I'm sure the people of Zambia and the leaders know here today, gathered here today, know better. In the interest of time, let me say this for today. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Amen. Thank you so much, Your Excellency.